Now it was time to spread the good news about Jesus all over the Roman world. But who should do it? Who was the right person for such a big job? Peter? Everyone looked to Peter as the leader of Jesus' followers. Filled with God's power, Peter was brave and smart. But Peter wasn't a Roman citizen. That meant it would be hard for him to travel throughout the Roman world. Besides, Peter had only lived in Israel, so he didn't know very much about the rest of the Roman world. If Peter wasn't the right one, who was? God had someone very special in mind for this very special job, a guy named Saul. You're probably thinking, but Saul was the king of Israel a thousand years ago. How could he still be alive? This is a different Saul. Like Joseph and Mary, Saul was a very popular name back then. But we don't usually call this guy Saul. Saul was his Hebrew name, the name all his Jewish friends called him. Outside of Israel, his friends called him by his Greek name. His Greek name was Paul. Heard of him? Yep, he's pretty famous. A lot of people are named Paul today, and that name became popular because of this famous guy named Paul. Paul was a Pharisee. Yes, one of the Jewish leaders who were really, really concerned about following the rules. All the rules. The Pharisees thought Jesus was breaking rules, so they worked together with the Sadducees to have Jesus arrested. Paul was so concerned about the rules after Jesus died, he made it his job to arrest as many of Jesus' friends as he could. Paul was an enemy of Jesus. Until one day when something really crazy happened. Paul was traveling to a town called Damascus, hoping to find more of Jesus' friends to arrest. As he was walking down the road, suddenly a bright light from the sky hit him right in the face, and he heard a voice speaking to him from heaven. In Hebrew, the Jewish language, the voice said, Saul, Saul, why are you trying to hurt me? Paul was so surprised he fell down on the ground. Who are you? he asked. Then the voice said, I am Jesus, the one you are trying to hurt. Jesus was talking to Paul. When Paul stood up, he couldn't see anything. He was totally blind. Jesus told him to go with his friends to Damascus anyway and wait there. In Damascus, there lived a man named Ananias, who was a follower of Jesus. One day, Jesus showed up in a dream and told Ananias to go find Paul. Ananias was confused. He had heard of Paul, and he knew Paul wanted to arrest all of Jesus' friends. Why would you want me to find him? Ananias asked. He's mean. But Jesus said, This is the one I'm going to use to spread the good news about me to everyone, to Jews and Gentiles, and even to kings. So Ananias trusted Jesus and went to find Paul. As soon as Ananias found Paul, he touched him. And immediately, Paul could see again. And right then, Paul became a follower of Jesus and started running around Damascus yelling, Jesus is the Son of God. Just like that, Paul went from being Jesus' enemy to becoming Jesus' friend. And now, Paul was ready to turn the Roman world upside down.